Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today is Wednesday and it is currently 6.07 a.m. I don't know how I got myself up this morning. I stayed up super late last night studying and I really didn't want to get up, but I told myself that I was getting up because I'm going to go to Starbucks this morning and just review everything. I'm going to meet my professor at 10.30 to make up a lab quiz. Someone was asking like, wow, you're so lucky your professors just let you do like makeups all the time and get extensions and that is typically not the case i've had like obviously medical things going on and i've had documentation for that so like that's why i've been able to get extensions because i've had to travel for appointments and stuff regarding my heart but all of that is over with for the time being so i'm just like back to the grind trying to catch up and everything Here's the look for Starbucks this morning. I don't want you guys to think that I like try to look cute when I get up this early because I could care less what I look like. And it's cold and windy out this morning. So I'm just wearing sweatpants, my long sleeve shirt and my Vans. I would so much rather be comfortable. It's literally cold and rainy. This makes me want to go get back in bed. home from Starbucks now and I really quick wanted to take a second to tell you guys how I got my coffee and my breakfast this morning for free. There's this app called the Drop app that lets you earn points on purchases that you're already making. Basically, you just link your debit card to the app and it tracks your spending and you earn points on places like Target, Sephora, Ulta, coffee shops. Like there's so many different stores that are affiliated with the Drop app. So you can earn tons of points just for doing your normal everyday shopping. Then you can redeem those points for gift cards and I always use mine for Starbucks gift cards. So the last three times I've been to Starbucks, I've got my coffee for free by using a $20 gift card that I redeemed on the drop app and I know these kind of things are so annoying but this video is not sponsored I do have a code for you guys though and if you use it you will get a free $5 Starbucks gift card it's 100% legitimate and safe to use I've been using it since the beginning of this year and I just can't believe how many gift cards that I've gotten so here's what the drop app looks like I can redeem up to $30 right now because I have 32,185 points but I've just been saving them up but you can redeem them for like all kinds of gift cards so so if you're not into Starbucks, then obviously there are other options, but you guys know that I go to Starbucks multiple times throughout the week, so it's been really nice getting my coffees for free. And it's completely free to use and download, and you guys can get literally free $5 Starbucks gift card just for downloading it and using the code Melissa Lucy. And if you guys have any questions about it, like you can DM me on Instagram because I promise you like it's legit and it's such a cool app. I've been telling everybody about it because it's just free gift cards, like why not? I'm toasting a bagel for breakfast because I never really ate anything when I left this morning. I'm eating one of these Epic Everything bagels from Dave's Killer Bread. I literally love this brand. They have really good bread and you guys can see like 13 grams of protein. It's got all this stuff on top. Omega-3s. Look at me acting like I know what any of that means. Guys, I have to go take this lab quiz and I do not feel ready for it at all. And I know you guys think like, wow, she has her life completely together. She's always studying and everything like that. But I waited until the last minute to study for this. I didn't study for this lab quiz at all because all weekend I was studying for my college algebra exam that was yesterday. So I kind of neglected this quiz and it's a really tough one. Kind of going into it blindsided. I studied last night and obviously I woke up early, went to Starbucks and studied for a few hours this morning. But last minute studying never does you really any good. It's better than nothing, but like, I don't know. It's harder to make information stick when you study last minute. So I do not feel confident about this and it's a terrible feeling. I'm just briefly scanning over this chapter because a lot of times the things that I write down that he says during lecture are like super important when it comes time to take a quiz. So just like looking over all that. Okay, it's time to go take my quiz that I'm not prepared for. I just got to school and the guy next to me was literally blasting his music so loud and I tried to vlog it so that you guys could see how loud it was, but then he turned his car off. Anyway, it is 9.54. I don't have to go take my lab quiz until 10.30, but I just got here early so that I don't have the stress of feeling like I'm gonna be late. So I'm probably just gonna go hang out in the library for like 20, 25 minutes and then go take my test. I just 
got back home I took both of my quizzes and I'm so happy because even though I didn't do great I got an 83 on the quiz today which I knew I was gonna do bad I at least passed it so and it didn't even drop my grade that much it literally dropped it down one point so I'm just in such a good mood because I was so stressed about that and now it's behind me I'm like super tired right now though so I think I'm gonna take like a 20 minute nap highly recommend doing that because it really just like helps like rejuvenate you like I don't know some people 20 minute nap like does nothing for them but for me it's like just what I need whenever I'm feeling like that midday slump it's not even really a midday slump it's <laughs> what time is it 12.07, so it's like lunchtime, but I woke up so early today, so this is like the middle of the day for me. So I'm gonna take a little nap, get up, then eat some lunch, and probably make a cold brew coffee at home, and then I need to start my recorded lecture and do my notes for this past week's chapter. But I forgot to tell you guys, I did something really cool. So I don't get like super personal with you guys on here. I mean, I try to like be realistic and share like what's going on with my life, obviously, because I vlog, but you know about my heart. I think I've talked about it in every vlog. It's probably getting annoying at this point, but you know, it's been like really weighing on me and stressing me out that and just school and getting sick and having to ask for extensions in my classes and just kind of like being behind in general. I've been under so much stress. And I haven't been working out like this semester has been so hard for me that I just like flat out have like stopped working out which is awful and I hate that um, my workout schedule has been so inconsistent like if I have a day where I feel like I can go take a run then I take a run but like that's about it so I signed up for something that I've been really wanting to do for a super long time drum roll I signed up for yoga and I have been wanting to do this forever. I have never taken a true yoga class before, but I hear so many good things about yoga. I know that it's good for a variety of different things, obviously exercise, toning your body, but it's also good for like the mind, body, and soul, you know, and I really need some like stress relief help with handling like my anxiety with just like day-to-day -day things so I just really am so excited to take my first yoga class tonight it's at four o'clock and it's at this place called yoga lab they have like a 30 days for $30 deal after that it's like pretty expensive but if I really like it then I'm gonna keep paying for it and keep going because I think yoga is like therapy kind of so I'll let you guys know how that goes but I'm gonna take a nap okay never underestimate the power of a good nap i just slept for like 25 minutes and i just woke up and i didn't really fall asleep this time like sometimes i knock out in like 30 seconds but this time i feel like i was pretty much awake the whole time but i feel like it's just about giving your body and your mind a rest so now i feel really good but i took my contacts out before i laid down so they didn't get all dried up and my makeup's like all messed up now. So I'm gonna like redo my makeup. Nothing crazy, just like something really light. I just got dressed like I'm going to yoga, but it's not until way later. And I took all my makeup off. I'm going to finally use this polypeptide cream that's from Drunk Elephant and I'm really excited to try it. Ooh, it's all like whipped in there. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. Feels moisturizing like it should. There's that. My face looks so red. I swear it's not like this normally without makeup on. It's just because I just wiped my makeup off. So it looks like super red. I'm going to put some of my CC cream on. Don't judge me. But it's my first time doing this yoga class. So I just want to like go in there and feel good. I'm not going to put like a full face of makeup on and do like everything. But I'm just going to throw on a little something. <laughs> There we go. That's all I'm doing. Just like something on my face, just to like even out my skin tone so that I don't look all red. So I'm about to show you guys a really cool PDF editing software called PDF Element. This portion of the video is sponsored by PDF Element, so thank you so much for working with me on today's video. PDF Element is an editing software that is user-friendly and perfect for college students. I'm constantly accessing PDFs and documents for college, obviously, but I've never really experimented editing the PDFs that I'm viewing. I usually just look at them, print them, and do things like that. I did not realize how much you can actually do with PDFs until I started using this software. It's a 
super fast software that's really easy to use and there's just like so many features I mean I couldn't even show them all to you in this video you can edit text paragraphs and images within your documents I think it would be perfect if you're going through pages from your textbook PowerPoint slides or any other documents that are sent from your professors or just a part of your class because you can highlight and annotate it makes it a perfect tool for studying and the most mind-blowing part for me is that you can literally transform scanned PDF images into text that you can select search and edit so just imagine next time you're taking a test and you digitally upload scanned images of your textbook you can search exactly where to find the information you're looking for it's a really great feature if you do have images from a textbook or pages for research studies and of course when you're finished editing with PDF element you can convert your PDF documents to Microsoft Word Excel and PowerPoint so it's super user-friendly and works on a variety of platforms it's a really cool PDF editor I only wish that I knew about it in the beginning of the semester because it's a great Adobe alternative and it's way cheaper so if you guys want to try out PDF element you can check it out using the link in my description and you'll save 70% so thank you to PDF element for sponsoring this video okay it is 3 40 finally time to go to yoga I thought I would just show you guys what I'm wearing so I just have a black sports bra and then this is just like an Under Armour workout shirt. My leggings are by Aerie and then I'm just wearing these Adidas sneakers. So hopefully this is good for yoga. I've never done it before so I don't know but I'm pretty sure this will work. Filling up my water bottle. I just parked at the yoga place. Throw my hair up. I am so excited to try out yoga. You guys have no idea. I really hope that I love it as much as I think I will, but I have a pretty good feeling about it. Guys, I just officially got done my first ever yoga class and that was really, really good. But it is not easy. Not that I thought it was gonna be easy, but like, I think it was like about what I was expecting it to be, but oh my gosh, it was so hard. I was having such a hard time keeping up with everybody with all the different like poses and the breathing and like it was really really tough and then they incorporated like some stones that had like oils on them so there was like a really nice aroma and it was actually heated yoga which I did not realize until I got in there and realized it was 90 degrees but it was so good and I'm really really glad that I went I feel like this could be so good for me. I am back home now and I'm gonna do a little unboxing of a Teddy Blake handbag that I got in the mail. I actually got this a while back, but I have not yet opened it. So it's a really cute new handbag from Teddy Blake and this was sent to me, but it's not like for this video. I am gonna do a video soon partnering with them, but I just wanna show you guys, oh my gosh. The packaging of this is like stunning. So all of their handbags are made in Italy. Really good quality, luxury leather and I'm not gonna be able to open this with one hand, so hold on one second. So here's the bag, it is so cute, you guys. This is like unlike any purse that I've ever had before. It's like a bucket style, so it will hold a lot. It's actually pretty big too, and it has like an adjustable strap, and I picked this camel color because I just feel like it's such a universal color. Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, it's a little wristlet. So it comes with this cute little wristlet thing and it just says Teddy Blake. Very cute and it has so much room in there which is awesome because I've been taking my iPad with me a lot lately and I think my iPad will fit in here perfectly. I need to figure out what I'm eating for dinner but like I feel so late and I can't get used to this time change. It's such a good movie. Chad's on shift today so it's just me for dinner so I'm going to have some chickpea rotini and this organic tomato basil sauce. Super simple. I was thinking about making like a vegetable with it but I might be too lazy. shower and I am finally about to use that new cleanser. It's the jelly cleanser from Drunk Elephant and the scent is cantaloupe. I'm excited to try this. Looks like a jelly. It feels really good and it lathers up like really well as you can see so I really like it so far. It kind of reminds me of the simple skincare one. Now I'm gonna rinse it off. 
I really like it so far. Hopefully I don't break out or anything from trying out a new product. Now I'm using my Sephora under eye cream and I used this last night and I really liked it. Clearly I need it because I have really bad bags under my eyes. Now the Drunk Elephant Moisturizer. This is the conditioning spray that I spray on my hair whenever I get out of the shower and I love it. It smells so good. So I'm just sharing it with you guys in case you guys are looking for a new leave-in conditioner. It's 8 o'clock and I'm watching Home Alone on TV and I'm working on my medical term homework. I just lit the apple mahogany candle over there from Bath and Body Works and it smells so good. And I'm drinking apple cider, so this is like literally the perfect setup to end my night. Okay guys, I am finally ending today's vlog. I am so tired, I can't wait to go to bed. So thank you so much for watching and if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.